So next one that is reaction with the hydrazine. So when an aldehyde or a ketone, so let us take the general form when an aldehyde or a ketone is made to react with hydrazine. So we know the formula of hydrazine that is NH2 single bond NH2. So aldehyde or ketone upon reaction with hydrazine again in this case also water molecule gets eliminated. So along with the elimination of water molecules the product that is obtained is called as hydrazone means hydrazine readily gives hydrazones as the major product. So here this hydrazine can react with either an aldehyde or it can react with a ketone in the same way if I consider a particular example. So now in this I take an example of ketone that is acetone I have taken. So when this acetone is made to react with hydrazine so that is water molecule again gets eliminated. So when water molecule gets eliminated it is left out with what CH3 carbon with one more CH3 double bond with N single bond NH2 and the name of the product is again called as what it is a hydrozone means in this it is clear that when an hydrazine is involved in a reaction with either an aldehyde or a ketone hydrozones are the major product which is obtained during the course of a chemical reaction. Now after discussing with this let us discuss the chemical reaction with phenyl hydrazine. So when we study the reaction with phenyl hydrazine either we can consider an aldehyde or a ketone. So I am writing the general representation now. So when it comes to phenyl hydrazine we know that phenyl hydrazine is represented by NH2, NH, C6H5. This is known as phenyl hydrazine. So when this phenyl hydrazine is involved in a chemical reaction we know that water molecule gets eliminated and the product which is formed is called as a phenyl hydrazone. So this product which is obtained is known as a phenyl hydrazone. So this can be written as what phenyl hydrazone is the name of the product. So if I write a particular reaction for this by considering the reactant as an aldehyde that is CH3CHO which is nothing but an acetaldehyde. So when this acetaldehyde is made to react with the phenyl hydrazine. So same case water molecule gets eliminated. So when this water molecule is eliminated the product which is obtained is called as phenyl hydrazone and this phenyl hydrazone is represented by so CH3CH with a double bond N with single bond NH with C6H5. So this product which is obtained is known as phenyl hydrazone. So after discussing the reaction with phenyl hydrazine let us discuss with one important reaction of aldehyde or a ketone with a reactant called as semi-carbazide. So what is the meaning of semi-carbazide? Let us discuss now. So reaction with semi-carbazide. So the, the formula of this semi-carbazide can be remembered as we know the formula of hydrazine. So hydrazine formula is given by what? NH2 single bond NH2. So this is known as what? Hydrazine. So in this hydrazine if I replace one hydrogen atom by amide linkage. So this amide linkage is what? C double bond O NH2 which is called as amide linkage. Hence the formula which is obtained is known as a semi carbazide which is given by NH2 single bond NH C double bond O NH2. So this particular product can be called as a semi carbazide. So if this semi carbazide is involved in a chemical reaction the product which is obtained is known as semi carbazone. So how the reaction takes place let us discuss with a particular chemical reaction of this semi carbazide that will give rise to semi carbazone as a major product. So here let us consider either an aldehyde or a ketone. So this aldehyde or a ketone is made to react with what semi carbazide. So this is the formula for semi carbazide 
NH2, NH, C double bond O, NH2. So, this is the formula for semi arbazide. So, here water molecule has got eliminated during the course of a reaction. So, what is left out? Carbon doubly bonded with nitrogen, single bond NH with C double bond O, NH2. So, this product is called as what? Semi carbazone as the major product so in which again the elimination of water has taken place so after this let us discuss the chemical reaction with reference to two important named reactions called as wolf kishner reduction as well as clemenson's reduction so before discussing with the two important named reactions let us discuss the general reduction reactions of aldehydes and ketones means so generally let us discuss what happens when an aldehyde as well as a ketone is subjected to reduction so first let us consider the example of a simple aldehyde that is acetaldehyde so when this respective acetaldehyde is subjected to reduction in the presence of a stronger reducing agent called as a lithium aluminium hydride so here let us discuss how the reaction takes place that is ch3 c double bond o single bond h so when hydrogen is added it forms h plus as well as h minus so when this hydride ion attacks carbonyl carbon migration of electron takes place on oxygen oxygen becomes negative so negatively charged oxygen will carry h plus so that it gets converted into what CH3, CH2OH. So the meaning is that it will always give rise to a one degree alcohol, that is a primary alcohol when an aldehyde is subjected to reduction. In the same way, when a ketone is subjected to reduction, so let us consider the ketone as acetone, that is CH3, C double bond O, CH3. So this is the formula of acetone. So when this acetone is subjected to reduction in the presence of a stronger reducing agent called as lithium aluminium hydride. So here what happens let us analyze that is CH3 C double bond O CH3. So this hydrogen ionizes as H plus as well as H minus ion. So when this H minus ion attacks carbonyl carbon migration of electron takes place on oxygen. Oxygen becomes negative negatively charged oxygen will take H plus Hence, the product can be written as CH3CCH3 single bond OH with hydrogen. See, here when the ketone is subjected to reduction, we are going to get a 2 degree alcohol. So, the meaning is that when an aldehyde is subjected to reduction, we are going to get a primary alcohol and when a ketone is subjected to reduction, we are going to get a secondary alcohol. So, this particular reactions we have already discussed in the chapter alcohols phenols and ethers but we have discussed the reverse form of this reaction that is dehydrogenation when from an primary alcohol if hydrogen is eliminated we are going to get aldehyde and from secondary alcohol if hydrogen is eliminated we are going to get ketone when the compound is heated at a temperature of 300 degrees celsius in the presence of copper the reverse of this reaction we have studied in the chapter alcohols phenols and ethers so let us discuss with the clemenson's reduction so clemenson's reduction explains that when an aldehyde or a ketone containing a carbonyl carbon when it is subjected to reduction in the presence of zinc mercury couple and concentrated HCl, the C double bond O group gets converted into CH2 group. So this particular reduction is called as a Clemenson's reduction or else in other words it can be explained as when an aldehyde or a ketone containing a carbonyl group when it is made to react with zinc mercury couple in the presence of concentrated HCl hydrocarbons are obtained as the major product. Now let us discuss how hydrocarbons can be obtained as a major product. So first 
Let us consider an example of an aldehyde. So let us take acetaldehyde as an example. So when this particular acetaldehyde is subjected to reduction in the presence of what? Zinc mercury couple and concentrated hydrochloric acid. So I'll write the reaction separately here. So CH3, C double bond O, single bond H. Reduction means addition of hydrogen. We know that it ionizes as H plus and H minus. When this hydride binds to carbonyl carbon, migration of electron takes place on oxygen. Oxygen becomes negative. Negatively charged oxygen will take H plus so that I can write it as what? CH3. C single bond OH with H single bond one more H because hydride ion has attacked. So this is the intermediate that is obtained. Again when this intermediate is made to react with one more molecule of hydrogen. So if this OH minus gets eliminated as an OH minus ion or hydroxyl ion. So this hydroxyl ion will combine with what? H plus so that in this case water molecule gets eliminated and this carbon becomes deficient site which will be attacked by H minus so that the ultimate product is what CH3 single bond CH3. So this is the method how a particular aldehyde is converted into an hydrocarbon when two moles of hydrogen is utilized along with the formation of water as a byproduct. So this is the steps that I have written only for your explanation. So in the same way, when we subject ketone for Clemenson's reduction, that is CH3, C double bond O, CH3, that is acetone, when it is made to react with two moles of hydrogen in the presence of zinc mercury couple and treating it with concentrated HCl, again this CO gets converted into what? CH2, so that I can rewrite it as what? CH3, CH2, CH3, which is nothing but propane along with the formation of water molecule. So this particular reaction is considered as Clemenson's reduction. So one more name of reaction, that is Wolf-Kishner reduction. So Wolf-Kishner reduction explains that either when an aldehyde or a ketone, when it is made to react with hydrazine, that is NH2 single bond NH2, which loses water molecule to form hydrazone as the major product. So when this hydrazone is made to react with NaOH in the presence of ethylene glycol, in the presence of ethylene glycol by maintaining a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius, here hydrocarbons will be obtained as a major product along with the liberation of nitrogen. So this particular reduction is called as Wolf-Kishner reduction. Now let us discuss a particular reaction with reference to aldehyde as well as with reference to ketone whereby a named reaction called as Wolf-Kishner reduction. So first let us consider an acetaldehyde with reference to aldehydes. So this is the formula for an acetaldehyde. So when this respective acetaldehyde is made to react with hydrazine that is NH2 single bond NH2 we know that water molecule gets eliminated. So by the elimination of this water molecule the product which is formed is known as hydrazone that is C double bond with N, NH2, so this is hydrogen, this is known as what, hydrozone as the major product. So when this respective hydrozone is made to react with NaOH in the presence of solvent called as ethylene glycol by maintaining a temperature of 200 degree Celsius. Now a question arises, so here this particular nitrogen groups undergoes rearrangement which eliminates in the form of nitrogen and this hydrogen combines with carbon so that we are going to get an hydrocarbon called as ethane because by rearrangement this nitrogen gets eliminated. So this particular reduction is called as 
Wolf Kishner reduction with reference to acetaldehyde. Now, when I consider ketone as an example, so let us take acetone as an example. So, when this particular acetone, so just I will rewrite this form so that elimination can be shown easy. Just, just I will rewrite it. So, this is the formula for acetone. So, when this acetone is made to react with hydrazine, that is NH2 single bond NH2, so water molecule again gets eliminated so that we are going to get hydrazone as the major product that is double bond with N single bond NH2. So, this is called as what? Hydrazone. So, when this respective hydrazone is heated to a temperature of what? 200 degrees Celsius in the presence of NaOH and ethylene glycol. So, when this reaction takes place, just observe here. So, it undergoes rearrangement where nitrogen gets eliminated and here we are going to get an hydrocarbon called as propane that is CH3, CH2, CH3. So, propane will be the hydrocarbon along with the elimination of nitrogen. So, this particular reduction is considered as an Wolf-Kishner reduction. Thank you.